Balenciaga has been known in the past for pushing the limits on a lot of their fashion shows, and apparently they've pushed the limits. Children, right? <laughs> apparently they've pushed the limits. This is not even funny. I don't know why I'm laughing, but apparently they've pushed. <laughs> I mean, the it limit. is too porn. It's yeah. It's, it's funny because it's stupid. It's funny because <laughs> it's funny because they're still a company and they're still in business. Like that's what's hilarious. Like nobody, as far as I know, is in jail right now. For this, this. is like Zoolander three. <laughs> But yet it's real life. So There's apparently a lot of pedophilia and there's child. If you think about it, if we just approach this from a perspective of normal adults, like we're grown ass men, right? You and I. I mean, I'm grown. I don't know Sometimes. what you are. Yeah. So if you just Mold approach you this, feel, <laughs> if you just approach this from our perspective, I'm a human being. I live in America, right? Yeah. These companies, we've known this for a long time. Old people who get, I mean, not even old people, just rich people in general in the United States of America and abroad, people who garner, who garner hundreds of millions or billions of dollars, eventually they come to this place where they, it seems like they get bored <laughs> and they're just like, life is no longer enough. I need to create some crazy crap. Right? Create something that everyone's like, what are you doing? It, there's two <laughs> things that go hand in hand with wealth, it seems like, in the United States. I'll just speak to the United States. It seems like two things go hand in hand with money. Um, More like this, this incredible greed for more, like this incredible spirit of competition and power. You want to outdo the next guy. And also sex, right? There's these yeah. two things that just it, these, these topics – and the only reason I like you, like you say, oh yeah, well, what about houses and real estate and cars and and all this other, right? I like to bring these two things up, right? Competition and sex. I like to bring these two things up because they can be two of the most destructive. It seems like when it comes to how companies are operating, when they're operating with a certain thing in focus, like right now, it seems like a target seems to be a lot of young children. A lot of young children seem to be the target of larger companies for some weird reason. Well, it's like, why you are you got to get them young? Right. So like they like feed into your brand and keep, keep you going where the old people, you already got them. Right. Maybe. Yeah. But when you're young, right. What do say with like young, Disney or anything else? Right. They're, they're hitting a market that they're trying to like yeah. bring in a younger crowd because you know, the, no, the say, other people are like changing, right? They're they're, no, they're getting man. older, so you got to go, you got to go with the younger crowd, right? Yeah, but what is it really? It's because those children, they're teachable, yeah, <laughs> right? Time, I can yeah. teach those children, like like we were talking about the uh, member of the Russian KGB agent, the ex, he defected to America, and we were talking about he was talking about how the plan to take America down, and he was going on about how it's got to start in the schools, right? We're gonna yeah. teach these children, even. Okay, I'll go back just a little bit further. Even Mark, not even, not a little bit further than the KGB agent, but Mark Zuckerberg. It's not even teaching necessarily, more like brainwashing, right? It is brainwashing, yeah, 100%. It's, you're just flooding your ideology and whatever you want the future to be, you teach it to the younger generation, and essentially you can create the future that you want if you just train up the youth the way that you you want to train them right whatever your ideology is whatever your goals are if you train that into the younger individuals 20 30 years from now you're going to start to see results from that if you're willing to wait that long right and these people these big companies seems like they're willing to wait for stuff like that you know it's not even that the way they just like once they get to another age group they just hit another market with them to whatever they're into at that time right true so then they just keep following them as they get older true you know, you know, now they're in their, like, preteens. Now we're going to hit them with this. And now they're teenagers, so we'll hit them with this. Now they're in their early 20s, we'll hit them with this. Right? So you just keep going with them as they go. So the company keeps going. Right. Right. And the outrage, <clears throat> a lot of the outrage right now is coming from the fact that children are being targeted. Right? So you don't see a lot of people going, 
hey, you're targeting my teenage kid. <laughs> like, yeah. you see him going, oh. hey, you're targeting my 10-year-old or my 8-year-old. Like, what the hell is going on? What are you doing here? This, the and pro- Balenciaga. The problem yeah. is the parents are also part of that same thing, right? So they, they don't feel they're being targeted at the same time some people, right? Because they're like, well, we're also with – it's it's a way for like them and their kids to connect because they also both like that thing, right? It's yeah, something but, they can like agree on, right? That's true. Like, and so, and older people are trying to be younger, right? So like, you're you can see it, and like you got older people on like doing videos and like so, making TikTok videos, right? And they're like, oh yeah, I'm trying to fit in right in with the young crowd, you know? Yeah, like that's what they, they want to be part of it. So, so you're you're specifically talking like Disney and. Maybe like anything Instagram, in general. TikTok, like they just want like, like women, women, men, whoever want in their forties want to be, you know, they they know they're getting older. They want to feel younger, right? So mm. they like they're trying to do the same thing like that group's doing, right? Yeah. In a in in a sense, like oh, I've seen I the agree. videos, yeah, and they're doing the same thing. Like I see it all over the place, and it's I mean it's whatever. Dude, the adults have dropped the ball. <laughs> I can honestly say, I and I don't. It falls it's, on the parents to a point. It's weird because we have to throw ourselves into that into that category. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you and me. Like I don't even have children. You do. Yeah. But we oh, both man, still have to throw time on. when these children. I was like, man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so who do you who do you think the failure is? <laughs> who do you think the failure is? Is it it's your one... parents or is it your generation? <laughs> Cause I'm just going to be honest with you, bro. Well, there's always bad and good on both sides, right? No, but I think like your generation and my generation and then our parents. I feel like people I think are those are the lazy two- over the years. Like parents are letting other people do the things that they're supposed to be doing, right? Yeah, but I think those two generations, I think my gen- my parents and me, these two generations, I think are solely responsible for this massive like explosion of what social media has been allowed to become, right? Mm. So who do you think's more, um, more? Uh, what's the uh, word? Fault? Here? Yeah, who's more at fault here? Is it our generation, like you and me, or is it our parents? Because our parents were at the at the crest of this technology, right? They were like everything started with them, and it kind of tumbled down, and now we're living in it. And our children, I would say. So I would say I that we know how enough. They were raised also because like it follows the line, right? Like it's our parents too, but I think it's more like for me it's ours too because like I notice there's a lot of less like younger people working, right? Because the parents want to like provide for their kids and like give them everything they want, and so they don't have to work or don't feel a sense that they need to like go earn what they have. Like they think like technology is definitely a big factor in it. Because, like, for me to get a cell phone when I was younger, man, now, like, every kid has a cell phone. And, like, for me to get one was, like, I had to fight tooth and nail and, like, I had to get a job and I had to do all this to get that cell phone. So, you know what you just said to me? You're the problem. <laughs> you just said you're the problem. It's not because just, they're making it so much more no. accessible for the kids to get that stuff. Also, I know, but you're saying it wasn't, they. When I got a cell phone, it wasn't cheap right. to get a cell phone. right. Now you can like, oh, you want to add another person? Ten dollars a month. But your parents also <laughs> wouldn't let you, right? Like my parents held me back from getting any kind of technology for a while. It's not well. I don't want to blame myself because like I've been always like, for me personally, like I'm like, no, you don't need that crap. <laughs> like, right. but then like, but think divorce is a higher rate. So now you got parents like fighting each other all the time, right? Like. Somebody wants to be the good guy and somebody else has to be the bad guy. And everybody's always fighting for like the kids to want to be with them because think back then before us, like parents stayed together, families were together and everybody's getting divorced all the time. So now the kids have necessarily two homes and kids know how to play that too. Sometimes, man, they're, they like, Oh, you don't, oh, mom does this or dad does this. And like, if they don't get their way, they're like, I want to go to mom's. I want to go to dad's. They'll play you, man. They play right, you cause they're right. smart enough. They figure it out. So you're the problem. People are the problem. Our generation. <laughs> In general. Me and your generation, we're the problem with For sure. why social media. And and I just want to bring it back to Balenciaga because that's what we're talking about, right? Balenciaga is a fashion company that has been targeting. You can say 
You know, if you, I mean, just because everybody has seen this one ad that they put out, but this has been an ongoing kind of theme with them for a while, right? Where they've, if you go and look back through some of Balenciaga's history, you'll see a lot of very disturbing things, Mm -hmm. like with regards to younger adults, not even adults, with regards to young children. Okay, so the people who, our generation, you and I, we are not holding people like this. I don't feel like we're holding them responsible or accountable enough. We, we're not doing We don't enough. hold a lot of people responsible or accountable enough for what they're doing, right? Yeah, but like it's I said. It's not just fashion industry. You can go all the way into politics at that point, right? Like there's a lot of things. That 100%. We just allow to happen because people are so dumbed down by like everything else that's going on. Yeah. Like you said, the social media. Like I'm going to go on my phone and you'll sit there for two hours and watch – and scroll through videos and watching videos, and mm-hmm. you just like your mind shut off, man. You're focused only on that when you could be doing so many other things that better your life. What do you think right? about the argument? And you just had a video about this, I believe, on your own. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I did a call by yourself. Talk. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you think about the argument that some people say? Okay, now we're living in a completely different world, right? This is not your parents' world. This is not even our world growing up. It's a technology world. So you'd be pretty stupid to withhold any kind of technology from your children, right? That's the world they're going to have to live in. It's not even an option anymore. I think to a point. Right? Yeah. So what do you think What do you think about that argument, though? Because people say, oh, well, let's give our children. And I'm going to bring it back to Balenciaga here in a second. I just wanted to clear this one thing up. Because Balenciaga is the absolute focal point. I, yeah, I don't want this podcast to branch off. I, I, want, I, I want to make yeah. it very clear. <laughs> That what Balenciaga did in this ad, yeah, based on all the facts, it was it was an absolutely horrendous thing, and that's a dark, terrifying, scary company. Can, it's can, a very pr- child predator looking company from our perspective and from all the facts that are in front of us. But no, it's crazy. It only hit for like a minute, and now like. It's even yeah, it's like nobody's talking about it. I know. It, right? Us talking about it is probably too late to catch the wave of you know, uh, it's still good to trending. talk about it though, right? Like, but we still have to, to talk remind about people it. like, hey, that didn't go away. It's still there. Like yeah. it happened. It like, happened, and they're just the company still exists. Like people might burn their stuff, but they're gonna relabel, rebrand, re redo some things. They'll be okay. I feel like Balenciaga's gonna Kim K never she didn't put them down. A lot of celebrities dropped Balenciaga. Probably not, because she probably gets a lot of stuff. Money, from them. baby. Yeah. It's, it's money. She's but, like, oh, if I do that, I'll be broke. <laughs> but back to what I was saying, right? Yeah. Back to what I was saying about children. You think giving children technology at a young age, let's say starting in 2020, do you think it's more intelligent to prevent children from having technology until they are like, like, let's say, 16, 17, 18? Or do you think it's more intelligent to give them all the technology you can give them and try to educate them on how to use it? Which which one of those do you think is more beneficial? Well, it depends because, like you said, there, it'd have to be – it's not good to take it away because obviously it's a thing, but it needs to be, like, monitored, right? Obviously, like – like, there's some things they probably shouldn't do, and there's some they should learn about, right? Like, if you can teach them, like, the teachable parts of it, right? Yeah. Is a good thing. Yeah. Because technology is there. It's a part of a lot of things. Like, you want them to learn that stuff. You don't want to be stupid and, like, you know, not know that stuff. Right. But they don't need to be, like, watching TikTok videos, right? So there Or being be part of that. Or, like, playing video games and all that. Like, they should be actually learning what, like, technology is. Right. And, like, how it works. Versus like, that's true. I agree with that. Right. Yeah. There should be like a balance. So what I it heard should some, be monitored to a point. Yes. Right. Like I heard, I heard, a, I heard one guy say, I sent all my children out. I told them, leave the house, go out and play in the forest. And none of you are taking your cell phones and come back home for lunch or whatever. Right. And it sounded like a great positive message. But then I thought, like, what if you were to actually send your children out into the forest? and Like, take your phone with you, but only use it for <laughs> this. <laughs> right. Like, like, it's actually pretty beneficial. You have GPS, and I can get a hold of you on that. Yeah, thing. it's really <laughs> beneficial to send them out there with a phone. Yeah. Like, what if they get attacked by a mountain lion or a bear or some, some dude tries to talk to them? They can't call you. You sent them out in the woods without their cell phones. Like, okay. So it's like. So here's my thing. Maybe phones need to be dumbed down. 
there should be a child phone version. Is that to where you're like saying? you can make phone call? Well, there is, but there you should be able to like make phone calls, use the GPS, right? And text. And that's it. Text. <laughs> Take a picture. No, 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 no. You don't need everything. You informational need videos. Like, say you need to fix a car. Or I'm not saying kids need to do that, but I'm saying like, it's like, okay, I'm stuck in this situation. Like, I don't know what to do. How do I do this? Like, you should be able to pull that information up on your phone like that. Right. Because that stuff's good. Because I use it. Like, if I don't know how to do something, I'll pull up YouTube and I'll be like, I'm going to watch a five minute video learn how to do this. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's here's, definitely a good thing. Here's the problem with technology: as long as it's done right, yeah. There's so many ways to hack technology, though. You're oh, just never sure. gonna find that version of a phone that's just. It's well, either it gonna there be very restrictive, where it's like all you can do is is call. Or it's text. the phone that I had when I got a cell phone. <laughs> yeah. There wasn't no going on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you right. play Snake and like it had a blue screen. Yeah. Man, you could throw that thing at the wall as hard as you want, and that that thing would work forever. Dude, that was old phones, right? Yeah. It's, it's built like a tank. <laughs> All right. So back we so back to the Balenciaga thing though. Right? Yeah, yeah. Did you see the teddy bear with the bond? Yeah, I've stuff seen the it? pictures and stuff. Yeah, it's gross. Like what the hell? I don't know what even somebody thought, like, hey, this is a good picture to take. Hey, and let's let let's let everybody see this. Like who did even you see thought the, that? Did you see the documents that they had on the table? Mm, I didn't see the documentation. It was a federal law. That protected some. I'm gonna get this wrong. I suppose. I guess it, it gets, had something it makes to them do in the right though. It had something to do yeah. with federal law, like not criminalizing child pornography or something. Just yet, something like that. Something weird like that. Oh, so they're trying to use it to make a point. It was. It was in the background of this whole thing, right? But they never said nothing about it. No, dude. It was. <laughs> It was just like a picture of the teddy bear and like the, it was this desk, I think. And it was just like, they had these documents laid out. It was just such a very strange, the documents were about child pornography essentially, right? And legal protections for certain things like that. And it's just, it's like all the, someone said all the processes, a massive company like Balenciaga, all the processes that you have to go through, like to get approval for editing, like a certain photo and publishing a certain photo out to the public. Like this specific photo they picked, right? With the little kid, it was a little child, it was a little kid standing on a bed. Yes. I know. Holding I a teddy bear wearing bondage gear. The yeah. teddy bear was wearing bondage gear. And I think the ad said, what do you want on that? Like, it's like, what the, f it's like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> this is a company, right? Obviously, this is not. What do you think should happen to a company like Balenciaga? Should people Obviously be in should jail be down, for something right? like this, though? They should just be like, yeah, this ain't a company no more. It's a very, yeah. I don't think anybody should be in jail for this. But they're also okay with the president, right? Like, I got to think about my ta answer. Talking about kids touching his leg hairs, right? And like sniffing people's hair. That's cool. You know, but President Trump, he's all, he's bad. Because <laughs> he said some things he didn't like. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. <laughs> but it's okay for everybody else to do whatever they want, right? So it is. It's it's <laughs> it is okay for other people to do things. You're Whenever you're talking about America, everything now is divided. So yeah, yeah. there's always going to be fifty percent here and fifty percent that says no, you're fine. In this case, though, the Balenciaga thing, there's no fifty fifty. Like it's like ninety percent of people or ninety nine percent of people are saying this is bad, and then. But Two or three percent are saying taking it. So, like for us saying this, like maybe they got a thing, right? And they say, "Oh, we we're taking down your video because you can't say that about them." I don't give a damn. I'm no, gonna no, put I'm this saying, up on. But Rumble. that's what I'm saying. Like, there's people out there saying, "Well, you can't say that, right?" That's fucked up. Yeah. Like, okay, so we're Wait, in the yeah, right, but now we're wrong, that. right? Somebody can come. Oh, so it's like the two percent of people saying, that are saying Balenciaga's right. Yeah, we're saying like being this is wrong. They did all this stuff. Well, we're going to take your video down because you can't say that. I don't give a damn about those people. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying though. That's what they're controlling. Like what's happening? Well, unfortunately, those people can no longer control stuff like this because mm -hmm. now BTG Squad, I have so many platforms that I can upload this video to, <laughs> so you can take it off of YouTube. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna post it up on Rumble and Spotify and freaking everywhere else. It's going on Facebook, right? So 
There's other companies out there who are willing. Amazon, any iTunes. I'm going to put it up everywhere, right? So there's other mm-hmm. companies who are still willing to do the right thing. And I don't I'm not saying YouTube's No, but take I'm saying they're controlling down. why what I'm trying to get at is they're controlling why Balenciaga is still there. Mm, that is scary, right? It's cuz you're right. They are controlling that. And that should terrify all of us. So that brings up the question, what's the root cause of why this is allowed to continue? Because this isn't going to stop right here. Because why are people not mad about this, but they're mad about Andrew Tate? Yeah. They're mad about Andrew Tate. Just go ahead and say it. Top G, baby. You don't know about <laughs> Andrew Tate, son? Yeah. You got to know. Let's get him you in prison in another, another country. Ah, so let's not shut this Bro, we like. got to go to Romania, dog. <laughs> Do a podcast with Andrew Tate. They're going to shut down Andrew Tate. Because it's like we said in one of our other videos, right? People want to say, when they're canceling Andrew Tate, they want to say Andrew Tate has the ability. We're canceling him because he has the ability to influence all these people. And we just don't like his message, right? Yeah. But there's over 50% they're of the population. The thing, yeah. They're doing exactly the same thing. And there's more. It's I would say, like, people want to say, oh, it's just 50%, 50%. One side this way, like, it's Republicans and Democrats. We're more than 50-50 divided. Right now because in the United States. somebody else is controlling it, right? Yeah, but it's like. Someone's controlling it because if it was 50-50, no one would ever win. So obviously it's going one way more than the other, right? Right. And now in this country right now, 50-50 is split and it's it's more in favor of people who have half of a brain, you know? So the other whatever 30% yeah. of people who the are saying- The government likes that, right? Because then they can control them. How the hell they is that being people allowed to, have to continue though, man? Because they like that more. Who? We're saying they. they well, because I don't know who they is, obviously, but obviously it's, it's being allowed to happen. So somebody is allowing it to happen. We have to get on Twitter more. Right? Right? Areas, mm-hmm. this is the point, right? So the me- where you have the ability to spread a message, like right now we're doing this podcast, I'm, I'm, I'll say it plain and clear. I denounce everything about Balenciaga. I hope they, I wish that their whole company yeah, would I don't shut give a down shit about or some stupid. I don't buy their shit anyway. So. Yeah. I think like, it's a, fuck you. <laughs> I think it's a horrible message that they're putting out. I think they're involved in some very dangerous and very nefarious child predator like stuff. Yeah, right. Kids are probably making their shit anyway. So why is it more? I think that shouldn't be tolerated at all. But I think. People have a responsibility, like with Andrew Tate, the whole Andrew Tate thing. Right now, Andrew Tate pretty much is being canceled because it's not because he's he's trafficking women. People want to say Andrew Tate is trafficking women. That's not why Andrew Tate's being canceled. He's being canceled because he was he making got caught because of pizza box. It's not like anybody knew where he was, or I mean, he makes all his money, he lives in a mansion, has forty cars. Oh, there he is driving around. But like, oh, we caught him because of pizza. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Like, I mean, now, now you're just making yourself look stupid, realistically. Like, you couldn't catch him until he ordered a pizza? You guys are fucking retarded. <laughs> this message. Hey. <laughs> to me, that's how it looks. It makes you look fucking stupid. It's it's true. <laughs> and I'm sure they could catch him any time. Man, you guys want. are some good cops. They probably needed the right the time. They needed they needed to get enough people on their side, like enough women oh, to sure. say, oh, yeah, he did something weird. And then, like, okay, now we can jump on it, right? But they're trying to cancel Andrew Tate and possibly kill him right now, believe it or not. Like, it's that serious. Mm-hmm. They're trying to cancel and kill Andrew Tate. I would go that far to say kill him. Just because he's... It's not about the message that he's spreading. It's about the fact that when you watch what he says, what if you watch anything, too? they don't like his message. I know, but if he's you watch it, they want him to say. He that. has the ability to speak in a way that makes you think. Right. Right. It's like yes, for sure. He's because he makes points. He he says something and he's not wrong. That's so what why. is the enemy of companies like Balenciaga and companies like Microsoft and companies like Facebook and Instagram? What's the enemy of that? Somebody it's that has you, a voice as big who, as theirs. Someone who thinks, yeah, and has a voice, 100%. It's people who think and actually take a second, like instead of just scrolling through your little shorts, and you, they feed, they're they feeding us shorts. Dude, right now on YouTube, like even me, I'm like, oh, my God, our shorts are getting like views. <laughs> like It's like YouTube, you know what YouTube has done? I just realized this the other day with the shorts. Everybody's producing shorts now, and they're incentivizing you to go to short form, like film and short form movies and all this stuff, right? They're 
all these podcasts that have come up out of nowhere overnight. What is a podcast? A podcast is like usually well, like short, we do. Also, sh- you don't get your whole message, right? It's a short version. Hey, of it. yeah, but we do. So sh- we do getting- short podcasts. Yeah. But podcasts, the majority of them are like an hour, hour and a half long, right? Mm-hmm. YouTube, they're trying to kill that. But I don't think, I think people are unaware. Like they're incentivizing. YouTube just released this thing where, well, they're going to release this where they're going to start paying. You can now monetize your short videos, right? That was something that didn't exist for forever. They're just recently about to start where they can monetize short videos. So they're going to pay people. But no, it's good shorts for the the political part or whatever however you want to look at it it's good for them because you're not also you're also not getting your whole message out yeah it's you're getting terrifying. a partial part of it right it's terrifying so like people aren't hearing everything you want to say yeah man it's so they can dumb it down whatever and you then know? yeah and when you watch shorts like on Instagram on TikTok on Twitter whatever when you watch shorts what are the the majority of it you're like I you have this image in your head that I can't really trust this fully because I know it's been edited down to whatever the hell this is. I this is out of context. Like, and they can say the same thing. Right? Yeah. So there's already this lack of trust in the in the content that's being put before you, but it's still entertaining. <laughs> so they're keeping that element of entertainment. Scroll, scroll, scroll. But it's short, so it lacks that. Um, it lacks that it element. Keep you long enough. To like yeah, make you think. It doesn't really give you yeah. anything. It gives you more questions than answers. You know, that's what a short is. You don't mm-hmm. come away with knowledge. It's like chat GPT. You know what chat GPT is? You and mm-hmm. I need to do a video about that. I'll send you some info. Mm-hmm. But it's chat GPT is basically, see, I'm talking about a lot of nonsense now in this video. I don't want to even dive into it chat all GPT. Leads into it. It's all the same thing. But my point mm-hmm. to the Balenciaga thing, though, I just, mm-hmm. I feel like our generation, Back to the whole, the beginning of this. Our parents had a certain amount of responsibility, I feel like, to control the way social media shaped their children's lives. And I think they failed at that. I think all of our parents, most of our parents failed at controlling the way social media evolved to what it is now. And now social media is to a point where we, we're now our parents. We're in our, our parents' position. And social media is going to keep evolving. Companies like Balenciaga, they're just going to keep taking advantage of that, right? We are now in control. I think I have kind of an answer to some of this, why mm-hmm. some of this happened. I want to hear it. I Excuse. think it's a good point. Let's hear it. You got to think about before us, too. Like, this goes back to the whole marriage thing, right? Like, families then, you know, there was, a, like, a parent at home. So, like, you know, like, like even as me as a kid, like, my mom raised us. But she was always working. So, like, she's never home, dude. So, like, it was me as a young kid also trying to take care of my little brother, not knowing, like, how to do any of that stuff. Mm. Like, so, like, I'm trying to raise my brother not even knowing how to take care of myself necessarily because your one parent that's trying to raise you now is out there working, trying to provide for you. Yeah. And that happens in a lot of households where the parents are never home. So, like, the kids are basically raising themselves based off of like outside of going to school and stuff like that. Like they're home alone. Right. Right. Where before, like there's maybe the mom was always home to there to like discipline the kid and the dad was working. Right. And mom's got to stay home and like raise those kids. Like, I feel like a lot of that feeds into that too. Like, so you got a lot of like kids got worse because of it. Cause they are essentially out there. Like they just get to go do whatever they want. Right. Like, so now what do you do? Like, you're going to learn, you're going to hang out with a group of people, right? And like, whatever happens, happens. Like, you're going to raise yourself basically to a point. Yeah. I don't know. That's where I'm trying to get with it, I guess. Like, I don't know if I said what I necessarily wanted to say, but I think, I think you did. I think you got that point across. Like, it, <sighs> I think, so that makes like now, now those kids, right? Like, me, that kid is like, now I'm going to have kids, right? Now, well, why can't you figure it out? I did it. <laughs> mm. Right? Like, instead of teaching them, like, you, some of them people probably expect those kids, like, to figure it out on their own, right? Because yeah. they also did it on their own. Yeah. Like, you don't understand. But maybe, like, you know, you got to understand, like, not all kids can do that. Yeah. And essentially, mm-hmm. if you don't have a mom and you don't have a stable dad in the home, essentially someone's going to have to come in and fill that role, right? And so social media is doing it. 
and our school teachers. These are two things that I wanted to talk about for a long time. Our school teachers, and not all of them, but a lot of them right now, maybe not even a lot of them. There's a percentage <laughs> again. Let's call this a 30-70 split, right? Just like just like the country's split right now. Let's say our teachers, 30 of them are just, some of them are out of their, they're out of their godforsaken minds, man. They've lost it. They're in cuckoo land. They're dealing with their transgender issues. They're dealing with their own identity problems. They're trying to introduce a lot of this stuff to your children while you're, while you're, in, while they're in school, away from their parents, right? And you might not even necessarily agree with any of it. Yeah, right? our teachers don't have, a lot of these teachers don't have the accountability from the parents. And that's slowly, I'm watching it slowly change, right? You're seeing a lot of parents stand up for what is being taught to their children in schools. But like you were saying, when the mom and the dad are absent, Something's got to something's got to come in there and take those those it's something is filling those roles. Right. The children aren't just being they are being raised by themselves. But there's also another there's this fake element of a mom and a dad. And it seems to be social media and the school teachers. What they see those like, oh, that's how life's supposed to be. Right. And that's a problem because the school teachers right now are. They're cuckoo for cocoa puffs, man. They're they've lost it. It seems like a lot like these school teachers. This specific group seems like they've just gone off the rails, and it's a powerful group of human beings because they have on their side the element or this little card that they can throw out of, oh, you're being offensive, you're being hateful, you're being hurtful, like, and then you're like, oh, we can't attack this group, right? Like, I can't say anything negative about these people because their feelings are going to get hurt like they can't handle any kind of criticism oh but they're willing to hand out the criticism they're willing to dish it out (laughs) they're willing to tell you there's signs posted up saying keep parents out of school that's the most ridiculous insane thing i wanted to punch somebody's teeth down their throat when i saw that sign because parents should be involved in that yeah we don't yeah this is a message to teachers we don't we don't pay you to train our children about how to suck a dick, okay? We're teaching you, you are paid to teach the children how to do mathematics and how to learn history properly, how to maybe arrange their finances in a way that's going to be beneficial to them in the future. You're not there to train them on relationships, okay? I'm the parent. That's my job. You stay the hell out of my child's relationship life that's none of your damn business and my child should not know anything about your relationships either (laughs) you're the freaking teacher did not what did i you don't you have a curriculum like it's it's to that point now like what the hell are you doing in schools and and you're you have the audacity to print a sign that says keep (laughs) parents out of schools those are my children that you're teaching right like we should all parents should have the ability to come together and do a simple vote I don't want this teacher in the school anymore, and that teacher should be gone. But now we have teachers' unions, right? So teachers are protected. You can't do that anymore. That's well, not even a I, thing, I, is I it? I feel like if the parents, the thing is, you got to get the parents to come together and do that. Because well, if they did, they would happen. Well, I don't know if our but parents are parents failing them. So it is our back to the whole thing. 100%. It's our generation. They don't want to get involved the because they want to pass. It's just like a job, right? Same with a job, man. Everybody wants to pass the buck and like hand it down. Like you're the manager and you're supposed to get this done. Well, I'm gonna delegate it to this, this, and this. So I ain't gotta do a fucking thing. You know what? So yeah. the, the, the parents are doing the same thing. They're delegating their stuff That's to make true. their lives fucking easier. It's lazy parents, and I think a, a lot of the reason why parents are parents are overwhelmed. I'll admit. I'll, I'll say that. I think that's true. Parents are overwhelmed, and it's because we're all trying to live beyond our means. Right. Everybody wants the house. We want a new car every year. We you think you need a trip to Fiji, like whatever, like all this nonsense. I hate to break it to you. You can't afford it. Okay, (laughs) like a lot of people need to come to a harsh reality that they're living way out of their means in life. Oh, 100 percent. I want to play a scenario to you. I do it to myself (laughs) plenty of times. Let me. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. One hundred percent. We're all we're all guilty right? of it. Yeah, <laughs> we're all guilty of it. We go because credit has taken us to this point where it's like you can go. You, here's you your are. budget. Here's yeah. your budget, right? But credit with this credit card, and you don't even see the charge. Like just swipe it, and you can go take the trip. Right? Yeah. You can't afford that trip. That trip's gonna cost you double by the time you pay it off. But I want to throw a scenario to you, right? That like 
let's like the teachers, the way our t- school teachers talk to our children these days. If you were to go into classrooms and watch that unfold, it will blow your mind. We can see the videos on YouTube. We watch it happen everywhere, right? I've never watched it, but I'm I've curious. watched the now, videos. Now you got me curious. About it's it, infuriating yeah. to watch yeah. how teachers interact with students. The teachers act like they are children themselves. They don't have half a brain. It's like you're the supposed to be the adult. And like I said earlier, Take we're paying you. Right? Yeah, we're paying you to teach the child mathematics, social studies, like other like economics. We're training you. We're paying you to teach them that. I don't give. There should be fear of the children to that adult, and that's gone too. That's, that's a lot of completely gone. Like uh, kids don't fear like adults anymore either like like that kid came in he brought a gun right to the school and he shot the six, teacher wasn't he like six? man somebody should went up to that kid and be like man you ever bring i'm gonna kick your ass and like that should have scared the shit out of him and he would never do it but you can't say that to a child anymore you'll go to jail yeah i know <laughs> but i'm just saying jail. like it's crazy and and that's another parent fall how did this six-year-old how old was he, six? He was six, I believe. How the hell did he get a gun? He brought a gun and shot his teacher. <laughs> how does your six? How do you not know your six-year-old kid has a gun? Dude, he was, I don't know, man. <laughs> that I, blows my fucking mind. Right? Like, I mean, it might be, it must be a problem, man, if a six-year-old can get a gun. Dude. Like, <laughs> that, <laughs> when I was huge... six, I can tell you, when I was six, man, I never thought about grabbing a gun and showing my teacher. I and tell, shooting I can anybody. tell you, I can guarantee you 100%. That was never going to happen because I oh. was ne- that wasn't even like a fathom in my brain at six years old. Oh, but this kid <laughs> did, man. I don't even know what I was thinking. It was it was nonsense. I want to watch cartoons and like go play with my friends. No, man. This <laughs> kid was thug. <laughs> That's about this kid, it. This kid was thug. I guess. Son. But <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It is. It's terrifying. And it's it's a it's this is showing us. Like, if you look at the children right now, you can see what our future is going to be, right? What they're being taught, they're going to retain this knowledge and information. They're going to retain it. It's going to be how they think. It's going to be how they think in the future. I got at least one of my kids on the right track. (laughs) That's good, man. If you can Uh, win one one of them. (laughs) If you can win one of them, that's great. I know 100% at least one of them. But, hey, before we close this video out, I want to make one final point about the teacher thing. And this kind of ties into the Balenciaga stuff, right? Let's say you get a job at – where could you have a job at? Let's say you have a job at Walmart, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And they bring this children's program to Walmart, and they're like, these little children are going to come and sing Christmas carols at Walmart. It's Christmas time. They're going to come. They're going to set up. They're going to sing Christmas carols in the front of the building. And you're like 60 years old, right? You're an old man. You walk up to these children after they're done singing their Christmas carols and nobody else is around, and you start explaining them to them how to suck a dick, okay? <laughs> right? Let's just imagine you did that in Walmart, okay? What do you think would happen? If you explained to them how to suck a dick properly, how to interact <laughs> sexually with other people. I'm guessing people, you're going to prison You or think dead. so? Yeah. You think you would get arrested for that? Probably. That's exactly what's happening in our schools, okay? And mm. those people are not going to jail for that, okay? The scenario vice versa, is yeah. exactly the same. You're being taught that, but you... If you want to tell them about Christmas, you're going to go to jail probably, right? <laughs> the sen- yeah. yeah. If you, in school, if you tell the children, hey, we're going to say a little prayer and we're going to sing the national anthem, like, no, you might go to jail for that. that. Or you might get fired That's illegal. For that. Okay? This is America, by the way. Right? So everything is just backwards. That Walmart scenario, it's happening in schools. It's just in a different setting. And now okay. it's okay. Right? So it's like the Balenciaga thing. This is this massive fashion brand company they're doing the same thing they're putting out these these child image all this stuff and it's okay somehow because it's this big company and we're not holding these people accountable for what they are doing and it's our generation and i'm telling you right now skis we're the problem (laughs) okay we want to blame our parents i get it it. fix it jared we have to (laughs) and it's gonna take it's gonna take a. It's gonna take a lot of human beings. I blame you. <laughs> making videos like this, or speaking about it on their like social media is life now, right? Everybody in the world should be talking about how this stuff is going on, right? But what are we? But that's what not what they want to watch, right? That's it's the a, problem. It's an algorithm thing. Oh, he's not people... doing the new dance. Yeah, skip that video. <laughs> exactly. You're gonna. Uh, 
It's a scary time. Maybe you should time, be dancing dude. up here talking about it. I know. It's a scary time, right? <laughs> Maybe people would hear it then. Maybe we should. Yeah. You think we should try a video like that? <laughs> you got to do <laughs> the new famous dance, but then like- I'm not even joking. Then make comments hey. like, hey, kids. <laughs> Your teachers teach Learn how to do some real stuff. stuff. You know, you know what's you know what's <laughs> effed up about that? I bet you it would go viral. <laughs> we did some stupid, ridiculous dance. But and they would just see it as stupid. It's not what like the the thing is you're still trying to make a point, but it's not gonna They would your, see it as your stupid. Point won't be made. They would see it as stupid, yeah, but it would be like a Tupac song. Like yeah. later they would start to dissect it. Like, wait a second, what did he say? Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> go back and start dissecting. Got to play that song. You got to do that dance, and then we'll say what we want to say at the same time. Dude, we're so screwed, man. Yeah, because I can't dance. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't worry, Balenciaga is gonna dance for you. They're gonna keep yeah. posting videos. Your well, school teachers, they're gonna keep doing it. Think our audience got the point? Did you guys get the point? Get the point. I don't know. Fix your shit. Cue the music, bitches. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the music has been cued. The skis have spoken. We're out of here. We got better things to do tonight than talk to you guys anymore about this stuff. Catch you in the next video. Uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us. I don't know.